this presentation we're going to continue factoring trinomials but we're going to look at problems that are a little bit more difficult now I said earlier that some factoring trinomials were easy well now they're getting to where they're not so easy because there's going to be a few more steps so let's say if you're given a problem you know, of course let's say if we start off with 2x plus 5 you want to multiply that times 2x plus 3. Well, you're going to get 2x squared plus 6x plus 10x plus 15, which gives us 2x squared plus 16x plus 15. So the question is how to factor. So what are we going to do with this? How to factor that? Well, let's look at, let's say 2x squared. I messed that one up, didn't I? Should have been a 4x squared, 4x squared. 2 times 4 is 4, so it's okay if you make mistakes. Just correct them and move on. So let's say if you got 4x squared plus 16x plus 15, we're given this and we're set, hey, you know, Let's uh, factor it. Okay, well, we're going to think about our standard form. So here we need some factors of 4, some factors of C, that when we add them together give us this B, right? So to factor a trinomial like this, we're going to write two sets of parentheses. And everything's going to be positive in this one, so I'm going to go ahead and put my positive signs in. So notice I left a little space here. In this space, we've got to come up with some factors of 4. So you got 4 times 1 or 2 times 2. Well, 4 times 1, you know, 4 times 1 is 4, right? So then we need some factors of 15. So you got 5 and 3, 15 and 1. So one way to do this is with trial and error. So since we're going to do trial and error, we'll put my 5 here, 3 here. Let's see what happens. We got 4x squared, that looks good, plus 20x, plus 3x, plus 15. Well, that's not going to work because now I have 4x squared plus 23x plus 15. Let's try, to, try something different. So I'm going to rewrite my problem. 4x squared plus 16x plus 15. So we're still doing trial and error. Uh, what I have first time? Let me look. I had four and one, so let's try 2x plus some number times 2x plus some number. So let's think about our factors of 15 that we want to plug in here. Well, let's try 15 and 1. So now you got 4x squared plus 2x plus 30x plus 15. So now I've got 4x squared plus 32x plus 15. Well, that didn't work. Um, let's try it again. So you got 4x squared plus 16x plus 15. So let's keep going with that 2x because I like that. 2x. See, we tried 15 and 1. That didn't work. We got 5 and 3. Let's try 5 and, five and 3. We put our 5 here and our 3 here. 4x squared plus 6x plus 10x plus 15. And this looks like that works. So we got 4x squared plus 16x plus 15. So with the trial and error, you, you just got to Try, you know, various, you know, combinations. Eventually, you'll get the right one. The more that you do it, you know, the more that the right answer is going to pop out at you. You know, another way that we can do it, and we'll see this in the next video, it's a little bit more systematic, kind of like what we saw with the uh, coefficients, the x squared coefficients of 1, is if we can factor our ax squared plus bx plus c, and check the factors of A and the factors of C in the binomials, 
then add the, the products of the inner and outer numbers, we should be able to come up with B. And I'm going to explain that more in the next video. But what we're going to do is move from this trial and error to where we find factors of A and factors of B, and we're going to add the outer and inner of those. And we're going to hopefully find an easier way to do these problems. So, far. so in this video, we did trial and error. Next video, we're going to do something a little more systematic.